Dr. Zunin, back for the local doctors in for the Everyday Solutions. Good morning. Hi, so the Diabetes Association is holding a step out walk at Kapiolani Park. That's right. So why is this so important as far as bringing awareness to diabetes? Diabetes is, you know, it's the seventh leading cause of death and it's costing us half a trillion a year yes. in, our, in our healthcare system and deaths about half a million a year. You know, so this is just so important for education, for awareness. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be heading over uh, to the to Capilani Park to answer questions as soon as we're done here with the segment. People can still sign up. People are heading over. Yes. The run's actually at 9 o'clock. Uh, the wellness tent is there until 11. So it's an important time. It's an important day. And so diabetes, how are we in the rankings as far as Hawaii? regarding diabetes, because you do hear about that as far as in the islands. Yeah, I mean, Hawaii is, put it this way, Hawaii is not near the top, not near the top in a good way, you know, and it really follows being overweight. So Hawaii is, is, is way out there in terms of people carrying extra weight, and it's, that's really one of the main causes of diabetes. So, so what causes diabetes? I mean, is, is it like diet? What is it that can, so people can avoid possibly Getting sure. Being, I mean, I mean, a lot of it has to do with with weight, but it's also what we eat. Eat, you sure. know. So it's it's the pog, it's the sugary drinks, the soda, uh, alcohol, mm -hmm. and then what we call the white food. So so white bread, white rice, uh, white potatoes. It's almost the same like having shave ice. Okay. So what is the best way to prevent and treat diabetes? Well, I think I think first of all. We want to have a, a good balanced diet and it doesn't have to be a, a punishment diet it can be uh, like we said last week affordable fun to prepare and tasty we want to keep the weight off and we want to be mindful of how we take our calories so sometimes that means a little bit more protein a little bit less less carbohydrates so something that we're all used to in eating in Hawaii, of course, is rice and all of these good foods that we, you know, want to eat. So what do you suggest for people? It's all about moderation. You know, it's not like, oh, just drink water. It's just, you know, we, 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 we are served things when we go to people's homes. Or we look at the menu in the restaurant. It's really also how much we eat and how we burn the calories. So, so today at this Step Out Walk for the Diabetes Association, and I really want to call out uh, Elena Cunningham and Paul Kaiser, the leadership, the volunteers. They're expecting five to 700 people now and 100 volunteers. It's, it's, they're walking, they're burning calories. So it's how much, it's really how much calories in the grind and how much calories go out in the movement. That's what keeps us safe. Okay, so what, what, what kind of advice would you offer people who are looking at us and saying, to? because you know, some people talk about pre-diabetes. Right. So how can, what is your advice to people who are pre-diabetic? Well, you know, I was just talking to one of the, uh, 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 the emergency rooms, uh, all the docs there, and so much of it is people don't have a primary care doctor. You know, so, so the first thing is, see, the, the, the point about diabetes is it doesn't hurt. Like high blood pressure, it doesn't hurt until very late. It doesn't hurt you. You don't have pain. So if you, if you have a primary care doctor, then you can check your, we call it hemoglobin A1C. Yes. And that will let us know if we're edging into diabetes and how carefully we need to, to take care. Okay. Mahalo. Thank you so, Thank you much, so much, Dr.